that we he's celebrating the loss. That gentleman right there, he likes to lose. Because like seriously, he lost by a lot. Welcome back to yet another Buffalo Bills pregame. I'm Randy and Dan is with me and we are here after a trouncing of the Steelers. Uh, the Bills look great as they turn their attention to the Kansas City Chiefs for a rematch of the 13 second game. Uh, the Bills look great. They're the highest scoring offense, the lowest scoring defense, 91 point differential, nearly double the differential of the next best team. Um, what is like what could possibly be doing better? How could the Bills be doing better at this point in the season, Dan? Um, I would say simple answer: beat the Chiefs. Um, you know, they're really—it's crazy the way they're really demolishing some of these teams. Um, you know, I think the most important games are this come upcoming Sunday. You know, it possibly could be for the one seed. You know, home field advantage down the road. Um, you know, these games against the Chiefs, Packers. Um, you know, games like that are really, I think, would really show you who you are. I think the premier quarterback matchups are some of the most interesting ones in the NFL. And so you're getting two of the, uh, you know, the best quarterbacks in the league, both young, and it looks like they will be going against each other for a long time. So each of these games uh, adds an extra level of excitement, plus all the national attention of the AFC uh, divisional game last year. Uh, it would seem that the magnitude, this is the, this is the new Patriots uh, Colts. This is new Peyton uh, Manning versus Tom Brady, and it's so great to... Uh, I don't know. I feel like we have the better quarterback. If given the choice of the two, would you take Josh Allen or Mahomes? I think I'd have to take Josh Allen. I think just solely on the fact that he just might be a little bit better of a runner, I think that makes a difference. Um, our head coach is no slouch either. He just passed 50 games, which means he immediately qual or he now finally qualifies for franchise records, and he is the highest winning percentage coach in Bill's history. Uh, Marv Levy, Lou Saban, names not to be uh, to be thrown around lightly. Um, do you think McDermott will end up having all the Bills coaching records? Like, are we looking at who will be known as the greatest Bills coach of all time? You know, he's certainly done a lot already in his time with the Bills. Um, you know, I think one of the most impressive things that he's done is end the drought. Um, you know, that was a really tough time for Bills fans, obviously, and you know, he ended that. And you know, what what they've been able to do, you know, with developing Josh Allen and becoming a premier NFL team, I think is really impressive. Um, you know, still no Super Bowls yet, obviously, but um, you know, I think that could be the near future. I just can't. I wish I could go back and tell myself who was so worried about Nathan Peterman being uh, put in as a starting quarterback. Like It's going to seem wonky here at first, but things get better fast. And uh, just glad he's our coaching for us. On uh, the offensive side of the ball, it seems like the Bills have been unstoppable. Uh, if anything can be complained about, it's perhaps the run-to-pass ratio. Um, but the uh, rookie running back, Cook, did find the end zone this past game. Uh, is he? Do you think... He or the other running backs, Moss or Singletary, will be able to start cutting into Josh's numbers. And I think that was a really important run for uh, James Cook because, you know, obviously he had struggled a little bit early on in the season. And I just think that was really important to have that to just, you know, show that he can do it, you know, gain his, a little bit of his confidence back. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, every week that we've gotten together, I've said, you know, you know try to establish the run. But, you know, I guess when Josh Allen's playing the way he is, it's hard to... Uh, you know, ask them to change anything, but, um, you know, down the road, come playoff time, that might play a factor, and I think James Cook is definitely going to you know, be a part of the run game. Uh, on the other side of the ball, the uh, Bills secondary going into the season was viewed as one of the deepest of uh, in the league in terms of quality players, and that depth has been challenged. Uh, we have second strings almost across the entire board um, going against an offense that seems to travel through Kelsey. Uh, a tough matchup for any defense, let alone some a, a team with so much inexperience in the backfield. Uh, what do the Bills need to do to stop Kelsey from taking this game over? You know, it's going to be an interesting challenge, especially with uh, you know the way that the secondary has been challenged with injuries. You know, Poyer being out, um, Hyde being out. I was like, you know, you got two backup safeties basically in there, and um, you know this is going to be the, probably the best challenge all season that they face. Um, you know, lock it down, Kelsey. You know, hopefully. You have the bigger guys like Edmonds and um, Matt Milano being able to, you know, trip him on the line or something. 
but um, you know, definitely have to stop Kelsey. Edmonds will probably pick up a lot of uh, QB read. He was all he was shadowing Lamar Jackson all last game, so I imagine for him it'll be a very similar call. So maybe he might be free to give that head on to Kelsey. Absolutely. Um, so do you have a prediction for the game? I'll let you go first this time. You know, I did pick the Ravens to beat the Bills. Um, I, the two, I, I still think the Ravens are very good. Um, which I, and I don't usually pick the Bills to lose, but, um, you know, I think the way the Bills' offense is firing, you know, it's, it's crazy the way Gabe Davis and Stephon Diggs have been playing this year. I'm going to go with uh, a shootout. I'm going to say 41-35 Bills. All right. Well, I'm going to sell a shootout as well. I had 47-40. I want to see a really high-scoring game. Give it to the, give the ladies what they want. Don't forget, like and subscribe to our channel. We will be back each week with something for you. Thank you so much for watching yet another Buffalo Bills pregame. Woo! So what if uh, what if he does get hurt, Kelsey or Mahomes? Um. <laughs> <laughs>